The seahorse, possibly one of the most beautiful and magical creatures to grace the world's oceans. Everything about this unique fish is remarkable. Perhaps this is why it has such mystical qualities. Not only is the seahorse's appearance out of the ordinary, its biological capabilities also distinguish it from the rest of the animal kingdom. Dr. Heather Hall and Luke Rosser are two of the world's leading authorities on this fascinating creature and both are heavily involved in a European breeding program. Seahorses are incredible fish. I mean, they're extraordinary. Most people don't even think they are fish. So they're, they're fascinating in the first place. They're such unique creatures. They have so many um, characteristics you don't find in any other animal. So it's very unique, the fact that it swims upright meanings at first glance people really don't know what to make of it. Seahorses have a, an amazing prehensile tail and you can see it being used all the time in these tanks. Its main function is to hold on to a piece of seagrass or coral or um, anything that's around really and keep them secure, wait for food to come past and then ambush the food. It's, and these are completely carnivorous, they're feeding on live shrimps, very small fish and that kind of thing in the wild. They have a very unusual life history and biology and they're extraordinary in their behaviour to watch. So just about everything about seahorses is unusual, different and very interesting. It is the way that seahorses reproduce that really sets them apart from the rest of the animal kingdom. The male has a pouch called a marsupium into which the female lays her eggs. It is the male who then fertilizes the eggs and cares for them for about three weeks. At the end of the pregnancy, the male gives birth to between 100 and 250 babies. But unfortunately, it is the unique nature of this creature that has undoubtedly contributed to its demise. Until 1994, we didn't know that seahorses were in trouble. But my co-director of Project Seahorse, Dr. Amanda Vincent, discovered there's absolutely enormous trade in seahorses. They have now become a conservation issue. 52 countries have been identified as actively trading in seahorses. A major consumer is the Chinese traditional medicine market, which prescribes seahorse for a number of ailments, including asthma, skin complaints, broken bones and heart disease. If this level of consumption continues, it will not be long before seahorses disappear from our oceans altogether. As a response to the dwindling numbers and to prevent what would be a major tragedy from happening, Project Seahorse was born. Project Seahorse is a team that works all over the world with people who export seahorses, people who catch seahorses and people who use seahorses, either for medicine or for the aquarium trade. And at each step in that chain, we try and improve the sustainability of the fishery to make sure that seahorses are going to be around for many, many years to come. The best way to reduce the pressure on wild seahorse populations is to stop people fishing. But because there's such a dependency on the fishery, we, and because these communities are so poor, we can't just go in and stop the fishery. You have to provide an alternative source of income. Project Seahorse has also encouraged eco-tourism, such as seahorse watching. It's also in the early stages of building aquacultures in Vietnam, which includes seahorse farming. The eventual aim being to breed them in captivity rather than take them from the wild. Seahorses are, are just magical fish. Obviously, working at the aquarium at, in London Zoo, you are surrounded by hundreds of fascinating fish species, but I think seahorses are, are particularly special. Um, they're very unusual to, to watch. They're, they're very um, rewarding to work with, but also because it's part of a bigger, broader programme of conservation, you feel that you're actually making a difference. You're contributing to marine conservation in some way. And that's the fundamental motivation for working with the animals. If it wasn't for the work of Project Seahorse all around the world, it wouldn't be long before this beautiful creature would be nothing but a memory. <laughs>